Hi toy fans! It's Retro Toy Tuesday, and today we're going to take a look at some charms made in 1986 by Galoob. These are the Sweet Secrets Dangles, and a total of nine different designs were produced. The retail price for them was around $4 each. I have five of the Sweet Secret Dangles to review today. These dangles are made out of die-cast metal and plastic, and they all transform into something else. Let's go ahead and start with my favorite, this red present. If you rotate the present's golden bow, the bottom of the charm flips around and reveals a hidden gift. It's a white cat, because it's perfectly normal to wrap up a cat. The name of this dangle is Basket Cat. Every time I see this, it makes me smile, because it reminds me of that scene in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation when Aunt Bethany wrapped up her cat. Interestingly, that movie didn't come out until 1989, which was a few years after this charm. Hmm. Next, we have a dangle that starts as a float and opens up to reveal a yellow bear in a bathtub. This dangle is called Bathtub Bear, and it has a little bar of white soap floating on the water. The bear can be moved in a couple of different positions because of the way its shoulders slide up and down its arms when the dangle is opened. The next dangle begins as a camera. This one also splits in half and folds down to reveal a bear in a bed. This dangle is Betty Bye Bear. Unfortunately, the top metal half of this bed frame is so heavy, it's hard to get the bed to sit upright without tipping it over. Our fourth dangle is probably my least favorite. It begins innocently enough as a baby bottle. But then you pull the top and bottom of the bottle and push out some side fins and you get a clown. This dangle is called Jolly Clown, but he really doesn't look that jolly to me. The last dangle is a can of soda. Can of soda? It's a rockin' horse in disguise. Rockin' horse is actually the name of this charm, and it's another one of my favorites because both horses and soda are great. But where I'm from, we don't call it soda. It's always called pop. These dangles were all sold with a plastic chain bracelet that you could hook together to make a necklace. My chains are currently invaded by other 80s charms, but we'll save those for another day. You wouldn't actually want to wear these dangles on the necklace. They're mostly metal and they're pretty heavy. The first time one flips up and smacks you in the face while you're playing is a real learning experience on what makes good jewelry. Basket Cat, teaching life lessons while hitting kids in the face since the 80s. <laughs> That's all the retro toy fun for today. But if you want to see more 80s and 90s toys, feel free to check out some of my other videos and subscribe if you'd like to stay updated. Thanks for watching.